Hey there Titanfall Legends, my name is Jerdude here today with the trailer for the upcoming free Titanfall 2 DLC update called Operation Frontier Shield, being released on Tuesday, July 25th, 2017. Big update this is everyone, firstly is Frontier Defense, a 4 player co-op mode that has you team up to protect a harvester objective point from hordes of enemies, whom get progressively harder as you go through the 5 waves. Some new enemy types will be introduced exclusively for the mode, for example the Mortar Titans. A new addition that wasn't in Titanfall 1's version is you will earn cash for defeating enemies that you can spend in between waves to purchase tools like batteries, arc traps, sentries, and more, taking a page from Bounty Hunt I see. Not a huge thing, but I need to shout out Droz and Davis from the campaign, if you do remember, they are members of the 6-4. I'll be getting back to the game mode itself, there are 4 difficulties, easy, regular, hard, and master, but there will also be a limited difficulty called insane, that will exist in a separate tile as a featured game mode. There will be a titan leveling system exclusive to Frontier Defense called Aegis Ranks. You earn Aegis Ranks by completing matches of Frontier Defense. These ranks can unlock powerful upgrades for your titans, helping you succeed at higher difficulty levels. Pretty interesting stuff. One thing though that has made me a bit curious in regards to this is Respawn also said, for now, these ranks will only apply to Frontier Defense. I'm gonna highlight the for now as that makes it sound like perhaps this may come to regular multiplayer with all the other modes at some point, uh, we'll have to see. Lastly, for the info on Frontier Defense that is given in this latest Frontier News update, there is going to be a lot more to the game mode that isn't exactly highlighted here, uh, but once the game mode is released, you can be sure to get a basics tutorial here over on Titanfall Legends. But with that said, lastly, from what is described, there will be five supportive maps at launch for the game mode. Homestead, Four Base Code I, War Games, Rise, and Blackwater Canal. Yes, Rise, map from Titanfall 1 is returning. The description of it reads, Long sidelines and height. Quarters dictate the battle in this abandoned desert reservoir. The towering sheer walls and a system of convenient zip lines provide pilots with means to get around quickly while titans do battle in the long corridors below. Pilots can also set up ambushes in the guts of this complex pipeworks. While titans can lock down large sections of the battlefield at critical junctures, tread carefully. It was one of my personal favorite maps in the first game, I'm sure most of you will enjoy it. 
Then, there's a new live fire map called Township. Description of that reads, A new modular construction of a residential firefight. Cover is sparse for pilots bold enough to leave the safety of a few houses. Windows and rooftops decide who controls the map, but dense interiors can always hold surprises. Alright, well everything that has been discussed up until right now is completely free. With that said, there will be some paid cosmetic content included. It's different from the usual, however. Respawn is introducing new elite war paints for weapons and titans. They say these will not only look awesome, but also provide XP boosts. Hmm. Each elite weapon war paint will give you a chance for double XP for just you and a merit boost for you and your team. These must be owned, but you do not have to be equipped to earn the boost. You also will be able to purchase these in a bundle for a limited time. The bundle will no longer be available after August 28th. So this cosmetic content is not for only looking pretty, but also giving you an XP boost. Hmm, I mean, it doesn't really affect the gameplay, but it's not quite a regular camo either. I will say, though, they look absolutely gorgeous. Then for the Titans, there are war paints for Frontier Defense, only available until August 28th. Each skin will give you and your team an XP boost for Frontier Defense, and this boost is stackable. The skin will also have a shoulder piece on the upper arm that will upgrade visually when you complete each difficulty in Frontier Defense. And that's everything on the new content. Uh, there will be a free game trial, though, going from July 28th to 30th, so be sure to tell your friends about it to give the game a chance if they have not already. Today's question of the day, what are you looking forward to most in Operation Frontier Shield? Feel free to let us know in the comments below or answer silently in your head. Over on my personal channel, Geodude, I'll be doing an initial reactions discussion video later today if you are interested in that. My name is Geodude, and until next time, stand by for Titanfall.